Let us now try to create a photo zoom in zoom out effect. This is what we are going to create. That is when we move our mouse over a particular image, the image gets zoomed in. And when we again move the mouse out of it, it gets zoomed out. So we are going to create a photo zoom in zoom out effect using jQuery. So let us develop it from scratch. I have already created a web page that is a basic web page. I have added the required jQuery file and also written the dollar document dot ready event. Next what we need we need to have some images. So let me add a div element and specify its ID as container. We are going to add our images inside this div element. This is just to style the elements. And let us also add individual images in another div. So let me add a class name. Let it be say item. And let me copy and paste it. If I am going to include six images, we need six different div. So I have added six different div elements. Here I need to add the img tag to add the images. Now I have added a couple of images in a folder named images. I will show that desktop jQuery images. These are the six images that we are going to use FL1, FL4, SC1, SC2, SC3 and SC4. So let us try to add the images. IMG SRC equals images slash say SC1 dot JPEG. That is JPEG. Let me copy and paste this and then change the name of the image paste okay and let me change this to sc2 then fl1 is there then sc3 sc4 and then fl4 these are the images now let us check how the page appears let me refresh see all the images are appearing one by one. That is one below the other. Why they are appearing like this? We have to actually style this main container div and also the item div. So for that let us add some CSS. Let us first style the container. So hash container. Let us set width height and also a border width. Let us make the width to be 600 px and height be 400 px. That is we are going to add 3 images in a row and like that we will have 2 different rows. And let me also add a border. Let it be say 5 px solid black. And now let us check. See here comes the container div. Let us also try to center it. That is margin. I am not going to specify 0px this time. Let me specify 50px and then auto. Okay. Okay. Now the images are appearing still one below the other. Now we have to arrange them as if in a row. So how we can do that? For that we should style the div element with class name item. So let me do that part dot item. Okay, let me set the width and height first with it should be 200 200. So 200 px and height also should be 200 px. Because that is how we have decided the width and height of the main container. That is we have six images and we have specified the width to be 600 and height to be 400 that is 3 in a row and like that 2 different rows. So 200px, 200px should be the width and height. Then what should we specify? We should specify the property float 
to be left then only it will appear one next to the other so let us check that refresh see they now appear one next to other then we also have to specify overflow to be hidden otherwise they will overflow to the next images space so overflow hidden means it will appear like this okay now what we can do to make them look as if in our previous image that is as if like this what we can do do you remember if we set the value of the opacity property to some other value that is less than one then it will be like this something like transparent so what we can do is we can set that opacity for the images so dot item img let me set the opacity value to say 0.5 and let us check how it appears now refresh see they look like transparent images and let me also set the height of this images to a bigger value that is let the height be now the height is 200 px let me set the height of the images to be say 500 px see now they appear like this okay they are transparent and not seen as the proper image and what we can do is we can set the cursor property value to be pointer so that when we move our mouse over the image it will have a hand like cursor see now it is having a hand like cursor now what we have to do we have styled the elements and make them appear like zoomed out images next we have to use jquery to make them look like zoomed in that is clear image so for that we need to write the jquery part now we are going to write the jquery part to create the zoom in zoom out effect what we can do we have already discussed the hover functionality that is we can write two different functionalities for handler in and handler out which we have discussed when creating the new sticker do you remember that we can use the hover event to implement two functionalities that is what should happen when the mouse is moved over the element and what should happen when the mouse is moved out of the element that is what we have to do actually when we move the mouse over the image it should get the correct image that is it should display the correct image and when we again move the mouse out of the image it should display like this itself so how we can implement that dollar on image hover we need to implement so image dot hover and we have to write two different functions so fun this is the first function and comma this is the second function and let me write the code for the first function now the image is looking like this what we have to do we have to change the opacity back to 1 and also change the height back to 200 px now it is 0 0.5 and 500 px so we can write dollar this dot we can use the animate method okay we need to set values for two different properties so we need to specify them in curly braces and let me set the value of opacity first that is opacity let the value be one and put a comma and the value of height should be 200 px okay now it will be changed back to opacity 1 and height 200 px and let's check whether it is working refresh see it is working perfectly but when we move the mouse out of the element it is not going back to the previous stage so we have to write the function for this that is the handler out function let me copy this and paste it over here and change this opacity back to 0 0.5 and this back to 500 and now let us check refresh okay yes it is working right 
see it is working okay this is how a photo zoom in zoom out effect can be created if you want to still modify it now if you see the image you could identify that the leftmost portion itself is showing even while we move out our mouse if you want you can even set the top and left properties and set the positions value that is position to be absolute or relative and then change the top and left values but still this is working as we expect when we move our mouse it gets a zoomed in and zoomed out effect so we have created the zoom in zoom out effect using jquery if you see the code you could find that we have written just four or six lines of code to implement this photo zoom in zoom out effect that too from scratch